Hi everybody, in this video we're going to talk about how to rescale input data uh, for image classification. Specifically we're talking about satellite imagery and how we can rescale it before we use it. So imagine you have a satellite image, in this case it's Yellowstone National Park. Um, this is essentially a bunch of numbers in a grid that we visualize as an image, okay? But um, what we, in some cases, what we'd like to do is take each of these pixels and assign them into some user group. Like, for example, in this case, it's burned areas versus unburned, and then another class for water. Okay, so that's called classification. Assign each pixel to a group. And the way we do that is we go through the image, we, and we look at each pixel individually, and we extract uh, its digital number or its value for each, uh, each band. And often satellite images are multi-band rasters, so you may have five bands here, right? Which for each pixel gives you five different numbers. And that is basically the spectral signature of the pixel. It's kind of like a unique barcode that makes it either similar or different to other pixels. And then based on those similarities and differences, we'll group it into a class for our map. So one way we'll often approach this is to take um, these digital numbers, let's take dn1 and dn2, and we'll plot them against each other in a scatter plot. And we can do this in 2D, and we can also do this in 5D, but we can't visualize it, of course. So looking at this scatter plot, we can see that, in fact, um, this group of pixels seems to cluster together, and this group of pixels seems to cluster together. So maybe we can say this simple raster example has only two classes, right? But actually, on closer inspection, that's not totally true. What we notice is that the, the scales on the x and y of this image are the same. They both go from 0 to 10. If we just rescale the y-axis here, and we essentially we zoom in and spread things out vertically a bit, whoa, suddenly this looks actually like three distinct groups. Okay, And so if we had run a classification algorithm for example, that used you know, absolute geometric distances to classify these things, it would have probably just come out with two groups, right? These are close and these are close. But in fact, by, by rescaling the data, we can stretch the axis, and it actually you can see that these actually are quite separate. So how can we rescale uh, data? There's lots of different ways that you could rescale the data. Um, one way to do it is to essentially normalize the pixel values, which simply means to divide all the pixels by the mean value of all the pixels in the raster. Okay, so let's, let's look at this visually again. So here's the original values that we plotted. Uh, band 1 has a mean of 4, and band 2 has a mean of 0 0.45. So they have really different means, right? Band 4's mean is almost 10 times higher than band 2, right? And that's why it is kind of favored in a, a straightforward classification algorithm. So what we're going to do is what if we divide all these pixels um, by their, the, their means? Um, we rescale them, essentially. So the band 1 values all get divided by 4, right? So that makes the numbers much smaller. So notice this pixel that had a value of 8 now has a value of 2. Right? All those numbers have been shrunk. Uh, in contrast, for band 2, we divided by 0 0.45. So a, pic a pixel that had a value of 1 now actually has a value of 2. We've essentially increased all the band 2 values, and we've decreased all the band 1 values so that they share a, a more common scale. And now we could see that really these three groups are quite separate by any metric. Thanks for listening, everybody, and don't forget to rescale your data before you use any classification algorithm.